Welcome back to The Nilo 2, the channel where I talk about the same stuff that I do on my main channel, but everything's just worse. Today we're taking a look at some pro image photographs that I captured on this camera that I borrowed from my friend to take some pictures in Sydney because I went to Sydney for a wedding. These are family photos and I'm not going to share all of them with the internet, but I will share a few that I like. So yeah, let's look at the pictures, which begins with this out of focus shot that I took on the aeroplane on the way. It's completely out of focus. Not much to say there. And here we are. This is in Sydney in a town called Newtown. I'd never actually been to Sydney before this trip and I'd never actually tried this camera. So I wasn't really sure what to expect from the optics. It's very interesting. It's not the sharpest lens, um, although it seems like the shutter speed was a bit low on this shot. Pro image is a 100 ISO stock, so fair enough. This shot's out of focus. <laughs> this shot's from a park called Sydney Park. It didn't end up well. This is nice. Uh, this is the same, same thing. And there's the Sydney Harbour Bridge. Ah, oh. so the focus here ended up being on the platform, I guess. It's not the sharpest camera. It's nowhere near as my Auto Boy Tally, um, which is a similar family. It's a lot sharper, but it's a lot more of a bigger camera and it's got a bigger lensing system. And this has a bit of plastic that kind of stays on top. Whereas I think that's actually glass. It's very hard to see on camera. So that would explain the sharpness, but um, a cool shot nonetheless. I am looking on a 4K screen. So that does kind of affect an image. You can see how the plastic is really causing that hazy look. It's a bit of a bummer. I'm not a fan of that. I do like this shot. I was trying to get sneaky, not too obvious, not too touristy shots of um, the Harbour Bridge. There you go, there's another one. Um, then we have this one of the street and that's the view from the, sh from the station, I believe. This is near King's Cross Station, I believe. I'd like these colored doors mixed with the, the brick here. It's an interesting shot. Um, oh, that's cool. Pro Image is just such a lovely film. It's just great. I really like Pro Image. Um, here we have this shot, which isn't bad. It's a, it isn't amazing. There are a bunch of birds, a bunch of lorikeets just here that I was trying to kind of get in the shot, but at this focal length, you really can't tell. This shot's ruined. Here's the opera house, uh, looking very white. There you are. It's like a beacon in the way it's, it's so vibrant, not vibrant, luminous. I wonder how much sharper it would be without the plastic cover. All right, next picture. That's cool. I like, these are the shots I was hoping to get. Love is the answer, that's sweet. And the person here. I always like having a person just to give scale and context and the way they're walking and their legs sticking out. Like the, the moment I got in their step, I like that. <laughs> There's me. I did not know that the flash was gonna fire. Looking back at it now, shooting pro image, I don't know what I expected from the metering, but yeah, that's a interesting shot. Mm. There's my mum, the place she stayed. There's my mum, dad and my uncle. They look lovely. Bummer about the shutter speed. And there's my mum and dad. Oh, that's lovely. They're gonna love this shot. And that's the first shot from the wedding. There's Abu and Rafael. They're looking lovely. It's very hazy from the, from that plastic. Oh, that's lovely. I like that one. Very interesting to see the kind of a uh, chromatic aberration from the lensing all around everyone's head in this. Yet again, it comes down to the plastic. There's a kiss, I got the kiss, I'm happy. It's always good to get the kiss. It was very weird going to a wedding and not being the photographer, but I got some shots. Oh, that's lovely. I'm happy I got this moment. Uh, ah, this is a cute out of focus couple shot. Oh, that's nice. Probably with this type of point and shoot, maybe I should have gone with a higher ISO film. The consequence of shooting, say, a 100 ISO film, you combine that motion blur with the softness of the lens. You're not getting the most amazing images, unfortunately. <laughs> oh, these are lovely. Weddings are always sweet. Uh, what can I say? What can I say? Oh, that's cute. Dancing. Yeah, at this point it's just all dancing, isn't it? Um, all right, hands in focus. <laughs> That's funny. And this is on the way back. Uh, and then we catch the next morning and then I'm on my way back. I'm trying to use up my film before I go through the, the scanning security machines. Uh, Cause I didn't wanna even have my film scanned by leaving it in the camera, so. There we go. 
got some shots of the aeroplanes at the airport, I think. And there's a selfie! I like that. That's a nice selfie. I, I never have good selfies, although bummer about whatever's in my hair, although I can get rid of that in Photoshop. Um, it's probably for my headphones or something. Ah, those are two rolls. This camera, I don't mind it. I think it's pretty cool. I definitely prefer mine, but the reason I wanted to try this out is because my camera is just so much bigger. If you look there, you can see that it's so much bigger in that way. Like the whole lens part of this protrudes and the whole grip part of this, it's just a lot extra. It's bulky. This camera fit in my pocket for the wedding very easily in a very compact way. I just wish they didn't go for this clear plastic protection and that they went for one that just came on and off because a lot of these images are kind of ruined. They're just not as good as they would be with a sharper thing. And I guess I come from such a digital point in time where I'm used to having sharp detailed images. And with the uh, film cameras that I bought, I shoot on this and then I shoot with my EOS film camera, which I put together with my very modern EF lenses. I'm just used to sharp film photos. So this softness isn't my style, but a very lovely two rolls. It's very nice. I'm happy I took all these pictures. But yeah, uh, thank you for watching this video. Uh, if you want to see more like these, I've made a few of these on this channel. So there's a playlist there and here's some other videos. Subscribe to this channel if you want to. And yeah, remember, this isn't my main channel. If you want to see better videos, there's a link in the description. Uh, see you next time. Bye.